democracy. We're, we're, we, we've grown up to believe, we've been told, that democracy is first and foremost, above all, and that's the, the lighthouse, above all, the leading light is free and fair elections. And the contest brings out our best and brightest. But collaboration, and I understand that that's the word for today, collaboration um, is, is re really thwarted by this because co contests actively discourage common ground. Notwithstanding the, the good intentions of our candidates, um, you know, with uh, the ideological differences basically uh, fast disappearing, left and right similarly evaporating, our politicians seem to be you know, grasping at straws. They've left, le left with little other options, except for, and these are lines which some of my colleagues use, except for manufacturing their differences or alternatively pandering to populist agendas or worse still, both. Now, that's my 30-second intro to democracy today, the not happy Luca version. Now, it gets better, I hope. I think I'm trying to show you something new. So, when we look through the history of democracy down into the cradle of it in ancient Greece, we, found, we find that they built their consensus through random selection. They formed their government by randomly selecting their citizens. Now, I think many of you might Im immediately think, oh my God, randoms, what could they possibly know? But the, the lasting legacy of that original democracy is with the jury, the contemporary jury. Now, every day of every week around the world, citizen jurors deliberate on matters of life and death and make sensible decisions. I've never been a juror, but I've been involved in a number of research projects with citizen panels randomly selected. And I've discovered one thing. I've discovered that ordinary people, complete strangers, when given the opportunity to deliberate together, are in fact extraordinary. That for me, for us, I believe, is the biggest challenge, to actually believe in ourselves. The, the, the rest is easy. It's how to translate this experience and this research evidence into a form of government. There's one particular model that I like from a professor in the University of Vermont, Alex Zakaris, and it's called the Citizen Senate. It, it essentially is a randomly selected group of citizens rotating every couple of years, two or three years. They deliberate on legislation and proposals that come from the house below. Now, can you imagine what sort of positive dynamic that would have? I bet you, I'm prepared to bet, that that would engender more participation and trust than what we have now with our unproductive vote, which we so dearly cherish. So for me, for me, democracy, the light of democracy, is flickering and faltering. It needs to be recharged. I believe we, collectively, have got the power to do that. Grazie.